Okay, so backstage here with Steven Quadros. Uh, just announced the Strike Force Challenges 2 card with Morrow and Pat Miletic tonight. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> it was a wild card, man. We saw everything. We saw Shayna Baszler try everything in the kitchen sink grappling-wise to put away Sarah Coffin. But once again, Sarah Coffin rose to the challenge, but she went for another decision time. So she's got to be thinking about that. But I don't think that bothers her. But that George Grigel fight, Connor Hume, what do you think about that fight? That was amazing. That was crazy. The crowd was going nuts after round two. I know Nick Diaz just set all those records with punches in, in his last fight, but that was crazy, eh? And you hear the crowd reaction with that. What were you guys like on commentary? Well, we were going crazy because the low kicks we thought were going to hurt Connor Hume, but he kept going and going and going and pushing the pace, and he, and he was landing on George because look at George's face. He got busted up in that yeah, fight, again. and it wasn't from some headbutt or something crazy. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that both those guys are going to be back, and both those guys are going to be huge stars here in Strike Force. George Grigel, Connor Hume, great fight. Yeah, George said that he was going to come into it and he was going to go back to his jiu-jitsu roots and he was going to try to put on a show like that, and he didn't, but he came out and he got the better of a decision this time, and so it looks like he's got a pretty bright future in Strike Force. So you think he could challenge for a belt in the next couple of months? I think so too, but we, you know they've got to sort things out between Josh Thompson and Gilbert Melendez in that rematch, and if Gilbert takes that and if it's a close fight, they may have a third fight and go for a trilogy. I don't know what's going to happen on that, but but the, the lightweight division here in Strike Force, with the addition of George Grigel, is stronger than ever. Uh, so just about the main event for a minute. I mean, that was a really close fight at the end. I, I had it scored exactly yeah. as the judges did, uh, as 29-28 for Villasenor. But uh, how did you and Morrow score the fight? Well, we scored it 29-28 uh, uh, for Villasenor as well. We thought that the first round was really close, but I would have given it to Joe. The second round, Evangelista Cyborg connected more, and he was really, really starting to exert the low kicks, and that was doing a lot of damage and was really bothering Joe's front leg. But the third round, Cyborg faded, and Joe had thought he would, and even though he hung tough, he got outboxed. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought that he got tired at the end, and if he hadn't got tired, he might have been able to win the fight. He even did land some pretty good strikes at the end. Uh, so final question, just back to the women's fight for a sec. Now that Sarah Coffin has won, and it was a decision, but she's now 10-0, and 0, when, to the best of my knowledge, there's only two female fighters in, in the planet right now who are 10-0 and 0 or better, and Megumi Fuji being the other one, um, do you think that she could challenge for a 135-pound title in the future? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I hope uh, Strikeforce creates a 135-pound women's title. I think it's time. I think there's a lot of great fighters. Gumi comes to mind. But uh, Sarah Kaufman should be fighting for a title in the next uh, fight, I believe. Do you think there'd be a, an opponent that comes to mind that you think that they could match up against her? There are so many. I don't want to disrespect one or another, but they're going to find someone, and they're going to find someone legit. Some of these girls are a little bit too big for her. They're up in, you know, Gina and Cyborg weight. Mm -hmm. But... Um, Sarah Kaufman should be fighting for a title in her next fight. Yeah, I agree, and I hope she doesn't go up and wait. I hope she stays there and they can find a good challenger. But anyways, thank you very much for your time for this interview. My pleasure, and if you want to visit me, go to stephenquadros.com. That's S-T-E-P-H-E-N-Q-U-A-D-R-O-S. My pleasure.